maybe I just jump in with my two cents on uh, Tucker Carlson. Please do. Please. So uh, there are funny things and there are not so funny things. So I start with the funny things. Funny thing that there's a very, very popular um, fairy tale. I, I think it's Swedish. Actually, maybe it's Norwegian, but I'm pretty sure it's Swedish. Uh, Carlson, uh, a tiny man who lives on the roof. Uh, so there's a funny, adorable character who has a little propeller in his back, and um, he's very feisty and mischievous, and he flies around, and he is a friend with a little boy because it's a children's story, and his name is Carlson. Uh, oh the boy's name is a little one. So as you can imagine, the memes on the post-Soviet space, uh, the little one and Carlson are overwhelming. Oh, wow. So... Um, so that is funny. And actually, I had to stay up for a very long time for you guys. And I decided to take a nap. And that's how I decided to listen to the idiots, uh, because I knew they would put me to sleep. But they only put me to sleep in a while, because the first part, the history lecture, I was laughing so hard. I haven't, I was crying. I, I couldn't, like, I, I think I was louder than the explosions outside. Then finally, I did fall asleep and took a nice nap. But, I mean, basically, if you look at it at, at the value, it's like pretty much being stranded in the traffic jam with a Brooklyn taxi driver who is very angry and has a rant, you know, and he tells you everything about history, uh, about politics. And you can't get out because you're stuck there, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've yeah, been that's, there. Yeah, that that was that's you're right because Tucker, I I almost felt bad for Tucker. That, yes, that's how bad it was. Feel, I did feel bad for Tucker because even that amount of non-resistance for Putin is mutiny. He was about to like kill the guy and throw him out of the window. Yeah. So yes, it's very funny. I actually recommend it for entertainment. Uh, and I ended up because I still had to wait many, many more hours after I was woken up by an explosion, waited out in the hallway, and then I listened to the whole thing. And then of course there's like, uh, it's a non-hamburger, nothing hamburger thing. 